UN Special Rapporteurs decry 1988 massacre as crime against humanity. Seven United Nations human rights experts have written a letter to Iran's regime describing the 1988 massacre of thousands of political prisoners as a crime against humanity. The letter by the Special Rapporteurs, dated September 3rd, has only just been made public by the United Nations. It calls on the regime to prosecute the perpetrators of the 1988 massacre. It adds that if Tehran continues to refuse to uphold its obligations under international human rights law, the UN experts call on the international community to launch its own investigation into the massacre, including through the establishment of an international investigation. Amnesty International described the letter as a monumentous breakthrough. Mariam Rajavi, the president-elect of the National Council of Resistance of Iran, said the report is a testament to the resistance of those martyrs in defence of their ideals. Iran. Coronavirus death toll surpasses 180,700. Over 180,700 people have died of the coronavirus in Iran, according to the MEK, on Wednesday. The official death toll occurred by the regime stands at 51,212. A member of the parliament said Wednesday, our government officials are not taking COVID-19 seriously and the harsh reality is that when our country is compared to other countries with similar populations, we are among the worst rated. The government is pursuing solutions on coronavirus that are not effective. US sanctions Iran University The US Treasury Department's Office of Foreign Assets Control has designated Hassan Urlu, the Iranian envoy to the Houthi terrorists in Yemen, and an official of the Quads Force. In addition, OFAC designated Iran's Al Mustafa International University, which acts as a front organization for facilitating Revolutionary Guards Quads Force recruitment efforts. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said, The appointment of an IRGC Quads Force official as an envoy to the Houthi rebels in Yemen demonstrates the Iranian regime's indifference to resolving the conflict, which has led to the widespread suffering of millions of Yemenis. <laughs> 